Hits like that made the Bee Gees true legends of popular music. Today, Barry Gibb, the sole surviving brother, is keeping their legacy alive and reimagining some of their greatest hits in a new album. He's talking with our Anthony Mason. The songs are familiar. The arrangements are new. I know your eyes in the morning sun. For his latest album, Greenfields, Barry Gibb has taken the Bee Gees catalog to Music City. I was bitten by Nashville, you know, because Nashville is about music. It's about real songs. The last surviving Gibb brother reached out to producer Dave Cobb. This is where I gotta go. This is the kind of music I love. And teamed up with some of Nashville's biggest stars. How did you choose what songs you were going to do? Well, I let them choose. Little Big Town chose Lonely Days. Good morning, Mr. Sunshine. Cheryl Crow picked How Can You Mend a Broken Heart. How can you mend a broken heart? And Dolly Parton chose Words. It's a you recorded the album at RCA Studios in Nashville, which is a pretty historic place. Incredible. Studio B, which is where Elvis and Roy Orbison and the Everly Brothers and Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson and a phenomenal experience. Dolly said to me, where I'm standing, she said, is where I sang I Will Always Love You and Jolene in the same afternoon. So it was very special, very special to be in that environment. Born in Britain and raised in Australia, the Gibb brothers, and Barry especially, were influenced by American country music. I think a lot of people don't know that you've actually had country hits with other artists. Yeah, yeah, and Rest Your Love On Me, which we did with Olivia, was a, was a, was a number one record for Conway Twitty. Rest your love on me a while. And of course, there's Islands in the Stream with Kenny and Dolly. How did Dolly and, and Kenny end up with Islands in the Stream? And Kenny called me up and said, would I write a couple of songs? I went to work on that with Morris and Robin. We came up with this song called Islands in the Stream, which was originally written for Diana Ross. And we It's one of 16 number one songs that Barry, now 74, co-wrote mostly with his late brothers, Robin, who died of cancer in 2012, and Morris, who died of complications following surgery in 2003. The Bee Gees. Once again, the fabulous Bee Gees. The most exciting sound in the world biggest grossing album in the history of music. Their extraordinary success is chronicled in the new HBO Max documentary, The Bee Gees, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart? Growing up, we did everything together. We often thought we were triplets <laughs> because we all had the same love. We had the same sense of humor. We had the same love of the same kind of music. Just typical kids, you know, but the one thing that no one else was doing was that we were singing in harmony. The documentary is, is getting wonderful feedback. Yeah, it's staggering. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand, but then I never have. And I shall probably never see it. I think I've watched bits of it. You haven't seen it all the way through? No, no. Why not? Because I can't handle watching the loss of my family. I just can't handle it. It's not, who would? I think it's perfectly normal to not want to see how each brother was lost, you know? And I don't want to address it, I'm past it. Was that hard for you to let go of? Yes, incredibly, incredibly hard because we've never, we've never not been together, you know? It was really tough, the first year 
after the last brother passed, Robin. That was the most difficult period for me. And, and pe pe people have said, so you had a breakdown? And, no, I didn't have a breakdown, actually. Um, I just didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. And, and I didn't know how to be perceived. And I didn't know how to perceive other people's opinions. So uh, I basically, I've been in lockdown for years, man. <laughs> The documentary charts the Bee Gees' early success in the 60s and how the brothers, known for their ballads, reinvented themselves in the 70s. The brand new number one song in the USA, the Bee Gees and Jive Talking. When Jive Talking came out, everybody went, who? The Bee Gees' broken heart Bee Gees? Are you kidding? Their soundtrack for Saturday Night Fever would spend 24 straight weeks at number one, led by the film's opening anthem, Stayin' Alive. That song seems more relevant now than ever. I think it touches right on where we are now, you know? Feel the city breaking and everybody sh everybody's shaking and we're staying alive. Was there something specific that inspired staying alive? New York. Yeah, New York is the basic premise for staying alive. It's really, it's really why John's walking down the street, New York. It's that climate and that atmosphere that is so electrifying. The film also inspired one of the Bee Gees' most enduring ballads. Yeah, I remember we were sitting at dinner during a break, and I remember hearing the um, really the key melody, which is How deep is your love? How deep is your love? Barry Gibb is keeping the Bee Gees music alive with his new Nashville album. He is alone now. It's just your Where is the girl? And four years ago, the last Bee Gee went out on his own for the first time. Do you want a to tour again? I think if it's if people want me to, I want to be wanted, and if people want me to do it, then my goodness, I'll, I'd be honored to do it. It's lonely up there when you haven't got your brothers, but uh, but you still make it. You still make it fun. Yeah, that's what yeah. counts. Does it feel okay even without them? Um, it's a, it's a bittersweet. It's bittersweet. Um, but, you know, that's one of the things we live with, is loss. And, my goodness, I've learned so much from it. 